Um, the Open API framework just came uh, at the beginning of this year. There are four stages of implementation of Open API. I think that uh, Hong Kong AMA uh, is looking very seriously at the uh, at the way that open banking is taking place in Europe and UK and Australia and beginning that uh, roadmap. Um, I, I do believe that um, there's a very different uh, aspect of um, or different framework in the API world, whether you allow the incumbents or the banks to utilize the new technology and the standards and do bilateral agreements and create ecosystems through OpenAPI versus the framework that is being created in Europe and UK and Australia which is mandatory for uh, banks to open their APIs and allow third party providers to connect and, and allow them to, to get data. Um, this is transformational. Um, I understand why some regulatory um, bodies in different countries might want to have an open banking architecture through open API banking, um, so to allow to level playing field, allow new incumbents and allow the customers uh, the ownership of their data, uh, so I do understand the motivations that will allow some of these countries to, to mandate banks to open their, their sources of data to third party providers. But I am very concerned, in fact, on exactly the mandated uh, aspect of open API because it's new, because uh, it, um, even though it is level playing field for the non-incumbents, but on the other hand, is not is creating a non-level playing field for the banks, because the rest of the society, the rest of um, companies like telcos and airlines and all that, are not mandated to have open API, open APIs as well, and therefore the banks cannot tackle them. So, and, and the fintechs as well, they will be able to extract data from banks, but at the same time they are not regulated. So I think that open banking is a very good concept. Open APIs is a very good uh, opportunity for society, for banks, for new companies to compete. But uh, the, the risks associated to uh, cyber security, the risks associated to data leakage, the risks associated to not to creating a non-level playing field for banks, as the other um, companies are not being requested or mandated to access their systems, will create risks that we can't determine how that will end. I am very worried about that. So I am not in agreement of this mandated open API system. I am more uh, aligning to a collaborative approach. Uh, I am more um, inclined today to, to accept a mandated approach provided all the other main uh, custodians of data like as I said, telcos, airlines, educations, universities also are mandated so that the whole society can extract uh, push and pull data based on customers' demands in a level playing field. And secondly, I am in agreement if the fintechs also are regulated. And also, um, not as virtual banks only, but as fintechs. And also, the uh, non-banking financial institutions are regulated. Uh, which today are not um, by, the, by the same regulator. So the scrutiny that is uh, imposed on banks must be also level uh, the scrutiny in the other third-party providers that will request uh, data from the banks.